If you can see it in your mind, if you can believe it in your heart, if you have the courage to speak it, if you have the courage to own it and the desire to work for it, you can bring it into your reality. There's nothing off limits. There are no limitations. There are no limitations to those who believe and those who are willing to work for their dream. You have to see it in your mind before you can see it in your reality. Picture everything you want so clearly in your mind until you can see it right in front of you. Write it all down on a piece of paper. Create a vision board. Then you will have evidence in the future. Evidence of the amazing power of your mind. The amazing power of you. If all you ever do is live by what is in front of you, reacting to the life in front of you, you will never move beyond the life that is in front of you. You have to be able to see outside of your current situation. You must be able to acknowledge where you are in life, but know you are capable of creating so much more. Know that where you are right now is not your life. You are where you are right now because of your past decisions and your past beliefs. Now it's time to sum up the courage to ask for better, to believe in better, to believe magic is on the way. Now it's time to get what you deserve. In life, we don't get what we ask for. We get what we ask and work for. Nothing in life will work without the work. No books, no seminars, no audio tapes, no gurus, nothing. Nothing will work if you don't. But I'm not talking about doing work you hate. There's no need for that. When you do work you love, it's not work. You do need to do something, but you do it because you love doing it, not because you have to. And that's where the magic is created. You add value to others by doing what you want to do, and you get rewarded. What you want is not going to come to you by just dreaming about it. When you get in your car to go somewhere, you would never expect to arrive at the destination by just closing your eyes and dreaming about it. You know you can't get there instantly. You must know where you're going, but you also understand that right now you are here. And in order to get to your destination, there is going to be a journey. There might be roadblocks, detours, stop signs, even breakdowns. But if you really must get to that destination, you can and will find a way. You would never stop halfway and turn around because of a detour, a setback, or an obstacle. You just take whatever path leads to your destination, even if it wasn't the path you planned on taking, even if it wasn't the easiest path. Life is no different. If you want something, anything in your life, you must first know where you are, and then you must know what it is going to take to get there. You make a commitment that no matter what happens, I will reach that destination. If I have to go the long way, I'll go the long way. If I have to learn a new way, I'll learn a new way. If there are detours, roadblocks, or breakdowns, I will keep going, fix the issue, get patched up, but I will never quit. If you just know, if you just believe, you will get there and you have the courage to see it through. There is nothing you can't have, nowhere you can't go, and no one you can't become. Muhammad Ali said, the man who has no imagination has no wings. If you can't envision it, if you can't believe it, you will never see it. You will never be it. You see, if you want to live an average life, that is fine. Keep your feet on the ground. But if you want to soar, if you want to achieve great things, you must not only think those crazy thoughts, but feel it. Feel what it would feel like to be doing that thing you want to do. Feel what it feels like to have all the things you want, to be the person that has achieved the things you want to achieve. The very process of you feeling like you already have it will send vibrational signals to your brain. And if you are willing to work for it, it will be in your life very soon. Albert Einstein once said, your imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. 
Only those who believe anything is possible can achieve the things most would consider impossible. You must know who you are going to be before you become that person. You must picture what you want to achieve and feel like you already have it before you can bring it into your reality. In the greatest book of all time, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill states, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. He says, you are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct, and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. It's not a magic trick. It's not a new philosophy. Most of you know about it. And if you don't, you should start paying attention because just about anyone who is great knows about it. As Robin Sharma said, everything is created twice. First in the mind and then in reality. There is an energy and power far greater than we can comprehend at play. And we can either use it, live in harmony with it, create with it, or run in fear from it.